Hello, I'm Kevin Bain. I've been working on uh, pest control traps in my spare time. I found a need for a nice working automatic trap. What I've done is put this bit of creativity on the side. This will reset the trap when it's gone off. Under the cover, we've got the motor. This battery pack will run this unit for 12 months. It'll do 100 cycles, last for a year on that battery pack. Little pile of double A's, long life rechargeable. The trigger plate is gone and the release mechanism is gone from a Dock 200, been replaced with photo eyes. I've put photo eyes through here which detect mice. So now my Dock 200 can include mice in its list of beasts. Okay, let's have a look at one in operation. This is the CMI Trapinator for possums. Auto reset on the side. The possum would come up through the bottom. There's a keyhole in, in the bottom. This little white block here is a bait block, normally baited with something of your choice. The possum comes in here, tries to take that little white block away. Wham. He's now in a headlock in the keyhole in the bottom. That's just finished the trigger process. It'll wait there for normally five minutes. That possum is supposed to be dead in five minutes, but we've sped this up. That now comes around. Uh, it takes a few minutes to do that, and it'll reset it. There it is. It's reset itself, waiting for the next possum. Possum comes up through the bottom again, pulls on the little plate, and off it goes. This is the same as the Dock 200 mechanism on the side, identical, 100 kills over 12 months from that same little battery you saw on the Dock 200. I'm at the tail end of development. I've got the mechanism working. All of these components are 3D printed. I need to develop those into uh, injection molded parts. I need to get help with people transferring that from a good working prototype to a nice production model that's cost effective for you people. From the field days, we did generate uh, about two pages a day of people that wanted to pick this up and take it as soon as it was available. So we're really excited with that. A lot of them were trusts. Um, surprising how many 1,000 hectare blocks people have got that they want to make into a monument for themselves or for the public in general. It's great. 